Greetings, fellow adventurers. Welcome back to Travel Facts. I'm your host, Albert, and today, we're delving into the spine-chilling world of the supernatural. Get ready for a journey to the most haunted destinations that history has to offer. If you're fascinated by the eerie and mysterious, you're in for a treat. So, buckle up, because this is Top 3 Haunted Destinations on Travel Facts. From centuries-old spirits to ghostly apparitions, these destinations are not for the faint of heart. But, for those who seek a thrill beyond the ordinary, join me as we explore the haunted histories of places that send shivers down your spine. Before we begin, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell, so you never miss our thrilling explorations into the unknown. Now, let's embark on a journey to the top three haunted destinations. I'm Albert, and this is Travel Facts. <laughs> Number 3. Tutankhamun's Tomb The Curse of Tutankhamun's Tomb, often referred to as the Curse of the Pharaohs, is a popular but controversial belief that surrounds the discovery and excavation of the Tomb of Tutankhamun, a young Egyptian pharaoh of the 18th dynasty. Here are key details about the alleged curse. Discovery of Tutankhamun's Tomb the Tomb of Tutankhamun, also known as the Boy King, was discovered by British archaeologist Howard Carter and his team on November 4, 1922, in the Valley of the Kings, near Luxor, Egypt. Tutankhamun's burial chamber was found mostly intact, containing a wealth of treasures, artifacts, and the mummified remains of the young pharaoh. The notion of a curse associated with Tutankhamun's tomb gained attention due to the deaths of several people who were connected to the discovery and excavation. These deaths occurred in the years following the opening of the tomb. The curse was said to be inscribed on a clay tablet at the entrance of the tomb and warned of dire consequences for anyone who violated the final resting place of the pharaoh. While the curse itself was never definitively proven to exist, it became a sensationalized and widely reported aspect of the Tutankhamun story. Lord Carnarvon, a key financial backer of the excavation, Lord Carnarvon, died in 1923, a few months after the tomb was opened. His death was attributed to an infected mosquito bite, but speculation about the curse began. Other members of the expedition and individuals who visited the tomb reportedly experienced misfortunes or untimely deaths. However, these incidents can also be attributed to natural causes, accidents, or pre-existing health conditions. Many scholars and scientists dismiss the curse as a myth. They argue that the number of deaths associated with the tomb is not statistically unusual given the large number of people involved in the expedition and subsequent studies. The idea of a curse was fueled by media sensationalism, and some suggest that it was used to sell newspapers and enhance the allure of Tutankhamun's story. In reality, the deaths associated with the curse of Tutankhamun can be explained by various natural causes, and there is no scientific evidence supporting the existence of a supernatural curse. The discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb remains one of the most significant archaeological finds, offering valuable insights into ancient Egyptian culture and history. Number 2. The Ancient Ram Inn The Ancient Ram Inn is a historic and allegedly haunted and located in Watton Under Edge, Gloucestershire, England. Here are some details about this fascinating and eerie location. The inn dates back to the 12th century, making it one of the oldest buildings in the area. Originally built to house the masons and slaves who constructed the nearby St. Mary's Church, the ancient Ram Inn has served various purposes throughout its long history, including being a private residence. Over the centuries, the building has witnessed numerous historical events and changes, contributing to its rich and sometimes dark history. The ancient Ram Inn is renowned for being one of the most haunted places in the United Kingdom. Many claim to have experienced paranormal activity within its walls. The inn is said to be haunted by a variety of spirits, including a young girl named Rosie, a centurion, a high priestess, and even demonic entities. Each entity is associated with different stories and encounters. Hotbed for paranormal investigations, the inn has become a hotspot for paranormal investigators, ghost hunters, and enthusiasts seeking to capture evidence of the supernatural. Numerous accounts of strange occurrences and unexplained phenomena have been reported. One of the rooms in the inn is known as the Witch's Room. 
Legend has it that this room was used for rituals and is a focal point for paranormal activity. The inn is said to be situated on the intersection of two ley lines, and there are claims that it was built on an ancient pagan burial ground, adding to its mysterious aura. Tales of child sacrifices, ritualistic practices, and other macabre events are associated with the inn, contributing to its reputation as a place steeped in dark history. The ancient Ram Inn is privately owned and has changed hands over the years. The current owner, John Humphreys, has embraced the inn's haunted reputation and allows guided tours and paranormal investigations. Efforts have been made to preserve the inn due to its historical significance and unique architecture. Visitors can participate in guided tours to learn about the inn's history, its alleged hauntings, and experience the atmosphere for themselves. The inn occasionally hosts paranormal investigations for those interested in exploring the supernatural aspects of the location. While the ancient Ram Inn's haunted reputation is well known, opinions on the authenticity of the paranormal activity vary. It remains a place of intrigue for those fascinated by the intersection of history and the supernatural. Number 1. Povilia, Italy Povilia's story begins centuries ago when it served as a quarantine station during the bubonic plague. Thousands succumbed to the disease, and the island became a chilling graveyard for the afflicted. The very soil seemed tainted with the way of suffering. Abandoned in 1814, Povilia's haunting history took a darker turn in the 20th century. The island's buildings were repurposed as a mental health facility or tormented souls sought solace or, some say, spiraled deeper into madness. Now, Povilia is shrouded in urban legends and ghostly tales, earning its reputation as one of the most haunted places in Italy. Locals speak of whispers in the wind, shadowy figures, and the residual anguish of those who suffered here. The island's haunted legacy doesn't end there. Paranormal investigators and television shows have explored Povilia's mysterious corners, capturing eerie phenomena that fuel its chilling reputation. The dilapidated buildings, overgrown vegetation, and crumbling remnants bear witness to Povilia's tumultuous past. As you wander through its haunted grounds, you can almost feel the echoes of history lingering in the air. But be warned, my friends, access to Povilia is restricted, and tales of the island's haunting are not for the faint of heart. The question remains, is Povilia truly haunted, or is it a canvas for our collective fears and imagination? And there you have it, fellow travelers. The top three haunted destinations that will linger in your thoughts long after the video ends. If you've enjoyed this spooky journey into the unknown, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. Which haunted destination intrigued you the most? Let's keep the conversation alive. If you crave more tales of mystery, adventure, and the paranormal, make sure to subscribe to Travel Facts and join our community of curious minds. Your support keeps the adventures coming. Before you go, remember to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss a thrilling episode. I'm Albert, your guide through the realms of Travel Facts. Until our next adventure, stay curious, stay daring, and may your travels be filled with wonder. This is Albert, signing off. Happy exploring.